Hello again everybody and welcome to Brommer's Blogs Reviews. So today I've just been playing with the new Microchip Pick 18F kit uh, from Microchip and um, basically the Pick 18 <coughs> series is uh, really kind of the upgrade from the Pick 16 which is probably one of the most popular devices in the range and uh, the Pick 18 brings together you know an upgrade to that, that processor with some new features um, good, you know, increases in RAM and flash, etc. And today, the I'm looking at the Pick 18F starter kit. Now, this is a real neat piece of kit for me. We can see here we've got apart from the application section, you can see here where the USB is connected. We've also got a debug section as well. Here, you could maybe read this is a real cool OLED display which we're going to be looking at uh, because we can sort of cycle through some demos etc. Um, here you've got a micro SD card slot so not only um, can you use this to store bits of programs etc but this also has a lot of the demo codes and what, what applications already uh, stored on it so you can run this board basically straight off with the PC or even then you can treat it as a mass storage device etc and here we have a capacitive touch sensor built into the board as well so you can evaluate that and here we just have a, a trim pot to do you know calibration of those things so on top of this the board actually also has um, a three axis accelerometer built into it which is really good and at the moment I'm just going to be running uh, here we can see I'm running the mouse demo so I'm just going to press menu to proceed okay so in this demo the board will act like a USB mouse so we proceed okay so tilt the board move to the right and etc and what you'll see is if you can see on my screen when this focuses uh, maybe this isn't too clear okay let's try again okay okay that's better so here you can see just by me actually moving the mouse you can actually see the accelerometer working you can actually also mimic the functions of um, a mouse as well with the left and right capacitive keys you can see here we just press an option so so that's the first demonstration which is uh, quite neat I must admit <laughs> I'm no, I mean, no, no means an expert on these on the handling of this maybe people who used to having a Wii so what we also get when we open the kit from you know from microchip is also all the software that we need um, from you know including the micro or MP lab and here we can see just some of the files that we get in here for the bootloaders for SD cards you can see here demonstrations for joysticks uh, mouse uh, all the bootloaders etc and then we have the custom hex files which I'm just going to click into here so on top of what we have I have like using the uh, the board like a mouse what we also can do is look at some telemetry so here I'm just going to put up this application and now I just need to reboot the actual board into a different mode so here I'm just going to look to go back to the menu system okay and this is coming back now remember this is all booting okay press a button to load a new demo yeah okay so looking at the HID demos click through to there just going to click this is using the capacitive touch sense as well I don't know if you can see to select through this a little sensitive maybe I need to change the calibration okay custom okay this file is just loaded so press the right button to start the application okay you heard there a connection okay now here if we can get a, a reflection so the device has been now found identified itself that quickly and we can see here the left and right buttons are relating basically to the capacitive touch sensing circuits here buttons so as I actually push these buttons, you might be able to see these numbers going down there, the left button. We can here see here, 
the right button and then the top button and down and at the same time what we can also see from the accelerometers if I now lift the board up we can see there the XYZ axis is. and as I'm just moving this around you know off screen you probably can't see this but this is giving you the real time telemetry from that as well as the onboard temperature sensor reading and also what the potentiometer value is set at currently what I showed here on the corner of the board so this is the first sort of demonstration there's plenty of other um, useful demonstrations on the kit where the board can be used as a mash storage device i.e. so that you can transfer files and treat it like a drive transfer files to these um, uh, to the SD card just here on the board and um, you can also use it like a joystick too but to support this as well, I mean, with the, with the full micro MP Lab development uh, IDE, I find this a quite a really neat feature-packed kit, and uh, really enjoyed working with it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I hope to bring you some more quite soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.